One of the best parts of the National is the fact that you can submit your cards to PSA here on site and they'll grade them while you're at the show. So I'm gonna do that right now and get these cards back to reveal the grades here at the National. And I'm here with the head of collectors, the parent company of PSA, Nat Turner. He's one of the goats of the hobby, a huge collector himself. And Nat, I am, I'm excited to get these submitted. Yeah, let's see what you have. Yeah, absolutely. I've got yeah. A lot, of, a lot of modern stuff in here. A little bit of a LeBron autos, but a lot of downtowns and uh, other fun oh, cards. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Do you really... have submission forms yet? Uh, no, I need to do the whole process. So okay. tell me what I need yeah, to do here. Yeah, so we're gonna go to the booth. We're gonna do uh, a submission form for your cards. Okay. And then we'll do a submission form for the autos. Perfect. And then we will submit them to the customer service team. Okay. Um, have you seen the vault? Have you talked about that before? I've heard about that. Okay. You're connected with eBay yeah. now? Yeah, so basically any card you get graded, you can click a little button in the submission form and the cards can get sent directly to the vault in Delaware. Okay. And at any point in time, after the card's graded, you can click sell on eBay. Okay. Pretty simple. That could be very helpful for yeah. some of these because I got like some the football grades, cards. Yeah, if you don't like the grade you got or you have two of one card right. or you just wanted to sell something, it's the easiest way yeah. to do it. Yeah, and I got some football cards I want to sell right at the beginning of the season. So actually, yeah. I'm going to take advantage yeah, of that. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Okay. Awesome. Let's All right, Matt, appreciate it. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks. Right. All right, Jeff, so here's the plan. So this is our online submission center. Okay. So this is where you type in every item that you're going to submit. Okay. Gonna go ahead and click submit. I'm going to have you log in. And basically, it's pretty simple. You just type in every card. All right. Um, and you declare how much they're worth for insurance. Okay. And when you're done, you just take the form that'll print out from the printer and take it to the desk. Okay. And then they'll That's get it. them graded right there. Yeah. Awesome. That's it. All right, I'm going to get okay. to work on this. All right. All right. Appreciate Let it, Nat. If you need help. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I got my submission forms filled out and printed. Let's turn them in and get these graded so we can show you what the grades are. Okay, how about you? Awesome. All right, so the order's back in, huh? Yeah, absolutely. We just need to uh, get a look at your ID, have you okay. sign off on the manifest here, and then we can give you your cards. Yep, here we go. Awesome, perfect. Uh, I just need you to print your name, sign, and then date. Today is the 27th. All right. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for your cards, Jeff. Thank you very Can't much. See awesome. Enjoy. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thanks. Absolutely. Have a great night. All right. Let's reveal them. Let's see what we got. All right. This is the moment. Three boxes worth of freshly graded cards. Let's see what we get here. All right, let's start with this one. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. The tension's always high when you do a grading reveal. You want to see, you want to see those good grades pop off. And right off the bat, I've got a PSA 10 on a really big card. That's fantastic. Jackson Holiday, radiating rookies. This is from the brand new 2024 Topps Chrome. People have been going crazy about these radiating rookies cards. They've been really hot on the secondary market. To have Jackson Holiday as a PSA 10, that's a really big deal. That's fantastic. Yes, two for two with 10s. Bajan Robinson, downtown, PSA 10. This one, great card to have in Atlanta. Absolutely love that card. Freshly graded in a 10. I'm excited about Bajan Robinson this season as well. I think this guy is gonna put up some serious yards for the Falcons with that Kirk Cousins pairing. All right, got my first nine. It's uh, Devon A. Chain, the great running back for the Miami Dolphins. Pulled this from Clearly Donruss myself. Submitted it for grading, PSA nine on that. Okay, little Pokemon, threw this into the mix. This one is the Infernap. I'm not a huge Pokemon collector. Guess what my kids are. I threw one of these in here for my son. He's gonna be absolutely thrilled. This is a hard card to get a PSA 10 on. So he tells me. It's a very difficult card and it can be very valuable in a PSA 10. So that's gonna be a big win. Let's keep it rolling. We've only got a little bit of Pokemon in here, mostly sports, but this is another big Pokemon card. This is a Charizard EX. People love the art design on this card. And this one gets a PSA 10. We are, we, are, we are hot so far, ladies and gentlemen. This is a good PSA reveal so far. 
By the way, here at the National in the PSA loft, it doesn't get any better than this in terms of doing a, a grading reveal. All right, one more Pokemon card, and then we're gonna get back to sports, I promise. This is an Eevee. This one also a hard card to grade, very valuable in a PSA 10. PSA 10. Okay, all right. We're having really good luck on this so far, guys. This is this is fantastic. I did scrutinize those cards very, very closely. So I, I feel my pre-screening on those was uh, was good. All right, how about a Yamamoto for the Dodgers? This is his rookie auto card from Topps Chrome Black. This one is numbered to 25. I'm not necessarily expecting a 10 on this card, but I'd be happy even with a nine on this card. And we get a nine. That's actually kind of what I was thinking would happen on that card. I wasn't expecting a 10. Um, it had a little bit of imperfection, but that's such a big card anyway. Rookie auto of Yamamoto out of 25. Wanted to get that graded regardless of the grade. Happy with the PSA 9 on that for sure. Okay, little soccer, Erling Holland. This is his prize footballers. And this one is uh, one of the rare designs of this card. The background on it's different. It's like a case hit type design. One of the rare ones. This one, PSA 10. There you go, blue and gold. Really good gem rate so far in this PSA reveal. And by the way, guys, I'm gonna choose some of these to take to the PSA vault in just a minute and to sell some of these on eBay because the PSA vault is now directly connected with eBay and you can immediately vault your cards with PSA as you get them graded, whether it's here at the show or through the online submission process on PSA's website. You can vault your cards right away and then you can push them right to eBay for sale, which is super, super cool. All right, guys, Dylan Cruz. This is a uh, auto, on-card, or on-card auto, is that on-card? Might, might be a sticker auto, I don't know. Either way, it's actually hard to tell with that design, which is actually really cool. But either way, it's a Dylan Cruz out of 50. So it's a really big card of a top prospect. And this one gets a PSA 10 from 2024 Bowman Sapphire. Really happy with this grading reveal so far. How about Jackson Churio? We got a lot of the top baseball prospects in this grading reveal. This one, number to 99, first Bowman Auto for Jackson Cheerio PSA 10. We are hitting, we are hitting in this grading reveal. Okay, Victor Webinyama. This is just simply his base prism card, but Victor's so hot in the market that even his base prism card in PSA 10 can command a lot of value. Were we able to get that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what happened there? Oh no. First major mistake on the grading reveal. PSA 6. Wow. Just what, what did I miss? What did I miss? Oh no. Just while I was feeling all high and mighty for all of those tens, I get knocked back down to earth. Knocked back down to earth with a PSA 6. All right, that tells me I need to sharpen my, my uh, you know, pre-grading uh, here a little bit. Need to get a little sharper with my pre-grading. Uh, I was doing good on all the others, but that one I, I messed up on. That one was not so good. Okay, we got two more boxes of some even bigger cards to go through. Let's, uh, let's go to this box next. I think the biggest cards, by the way, are in the last box. So here we go, let's bring these ones out. Oh, there's a big card right on top. It's a big card right on top. Look at that, okay. Trey Young, gold vinyl one of one from 2019 Optic. That's a second year Trey Young card. This will be a big card obviously in Atlanta and that one gets a PSA nine grade. All right, next up. Okay, this is fun. This is a messy gold. A messy gold prize footballers, number to 50. I pulled this card myself with my son Harrison. So this card's got some real cool memories. He went crazy, both of us went crazy when this card was pulled. And this card gets a PSA 10. Wow, that's absolutely incredible. All right, so far so good. Let's see what's next here. Oh, this is a huge card. This is a huge card. This is Gunnar Henderson. This is, uh, He's been one of the you know, great young players in baseball right now. A lot of excitement about Gunnar Henderson's cards here at the National. And this is his Bowman Platinum Anniversary card, number to 10. This is a Gunnar Henderson rookie card out of 10. This is a big card. And this gets a PSA 10. Yes, yes, yes. The number to 10 gets a 10. 
Wow, okay, we're doing great here overall, guys. Let's keep it rolling, this is super great. Another Victor Webinyama Prism Pink Ice. Hopefully I can redeem myself on this one because that last Victor PSA 6. Can this Victor do better than Pink Ice gets? A PSA 9, okay. So we didn't get the gems on the Victors, but PSA 9, still pretty happy with that overall. All right, let's keep on moving. All right, uh, we got Chase DeLauter out of 150. Prospect for the Guardians. First Bowman, PSA 10. There we go. Keep that rolling, guys. Let's go. Oh, we got another downtown. This is a fun one. This is from Optic. I love these downtown cards, and they've been super hot at the National. Everybody loves the short prints. Everybody loves the downtowns and the kabooms and the color blasts. They're so hot. These cards are so, just so transacted all over the show floor. Ben Roethlisberger, Optic Downtown, gets PSA 10. We're rocking it, guys. We're rocking it. I'm gonna have a trouble figuring out which one of these I want to submit down there to the vault in a minute here to sell on eBay because we got a lot of cards actually that are going to do really, really well for us. Okay, Gladiators of the Diamonds, Ellie De La Cruz out of 50. This is a big card. Ellie's rookie card out of 50, Gladiators of the Diamond. What's this one going to get? A nine. Okay, all right. Hoping for a 10 on that one. I'll take the nine though. Next up, Jordan Love. Okay, this is a big card. I traded for this card. I traded for this card raw. I thought it had a chance at a 10. It's maybe slightly, ever so slightly off center. It could get a nine. If it gets a 10, I, it's, I think it's got like a 50-50 shot. If it gets a 10, I'm gonna be ecstatic. Um, this is a real, real nice card here. This one is numbered as well, I think to maybe 35. So this is a big card coming into this next football season. Let's see what it does. A nine, okay, okay. I, I was kind of thinking that one was gonna get a nine, not a 10. I, I get it. Still happy that I graded it for sure. Uh, I'll take that nine. Okay, this is an old throwback card. This is an old Pete Maravich card, Atlanta Hawks from 1972. This card's not in great condition. We're hoping for a PSA two. We're just hoping to avoid a PSA one. This card's definitely, you know, it doesn't have a chance of any type of high grade at all. But this one, we picked up uh, down in Atlanta and I, I wanted to grade it with PSA and was really hoping, hoping that it will get a PSA too. That, that would make me really, really happy. Okay, it did, I got a PSA too, that's thrilled. I just wanted to avoid a PSA one. I thought the card deserved a PSA two. I looked at it really closely. My skill on like figuring out what I think a card might grade is, is getting better, which is good. Uh, Cause you know, this was two years ago. I probably would have thought that card was gonna get a six or something crazy. Now I know the grading scale better. And uh, that one I was hoping would get a two and it got a two. That's really good. Okay, last card. And then we got a couple of really, really big ones to finish off with here. Brandon Miller. Uh, I pulled this myself out of Inception. This is number to 100. Hoping for a 10, but this is a thicker card. They're always hard to grade. A nine might be more realistic. Let's see what it gets. I got a 10. It got a 10, that's awesome, that's awesome. I thought that had a shot at a 10, but I also recognize with the fact that that's a thicker card that sometimes those are a little bit harder to grade and get a really good grade on. Okay, we got one box left and we got some big, big cards in this box. This is going to be the most exciting box yet. I, I kind of don't even want to look at what's on top here. All right, I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna look right at the camera. I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna put the box over here. I'm gonna put these down and I'm gonna gaze down because I think the top card is gonna be a LeBron James. I think it's gonna be a LeBron James auto. Ready? Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a huge, huge grade on that card. I picked up this card raw. It just got a 10. 10 dual grade that is a massive massive grade on that card that is huge big time big time okay all right all right that is a great way to start this last box but guess what oh wow we got another big card under this okay jordan love rookie ticket auto green pulsar from first off the line number to 27. This one I submitted for a dual grade as well. Really hoping for a 10-10. 
I don't know if it's going to get a 10-10. Saw a couple of minor, minor defects with the card. Let's see what it does. 9-10. That's actually what I thought I was going to get. A 9-10. Still thrilled with that. Happy I got the 10 auto grade. Beautiful card. Really nice Jordan Love signature on that card. That's a great grade. Definitely one with football season coming up. This would be the type of card that I would consider submitting to the PSA Vault getting it in the vault and then getting it ready to sell on eBay through the PSA vault with the start of football season now around the corner, timing the market a little bit, getting a card like this ready for an eBay sale right around the start of the football season would be a smart strategy and the PSA vault lets you do that. Okay, this is a fun card. This is the Jameson Williams downtown that was hand signed by him. You don't see many signed downtown cards. And this one, 910, card grade of nine, Auto grade of 10, nice card there for sure. And let's end it with one more LeBron. Now this LeBron card was not quite as nice as the other one. So we're not gonna go two for two with the 10-10s, but I would be really happy if this gets a 10 auto, no matter what the card grade is. This card did not look as good as the other one, so I don't think it's gonna get a 10 like the other one did. But if the auto gets a 10, I would be thrilled. And it did, 8-10. I'm thrilled with that grade. I'm thrilled with this grading reveal overall. We did super, super, super good with this grading reveal. It was awesome to be able to do this at the National. And now I'm going to choose a few of these cards to vault right now and put on the PSA vault. And then I'm going to be able to sell those right on eBay. Let me go through the cards and pick out which ones to take downstairs to the vault. Hey Miguel, how you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Good, I've got some cards that I want to put into the PSA vault and then sell on eBay. Great. Uh, how does this process work? So once you deposit your cards, it will be stored in our secure location. And from there, you'll be able to access a PSA app where you're able to access the card, click on a button and press uh, sell on eBay. Okay. And it goes straight out to eBay then and goes to what, an auction? It goes on to a seven day auction. Okay. You're able to list the starting price as well as the day of the week. Do I have to provide photos and descriptions and stuff of the card? Uh, no, once uh, it is in the vault, you would uh, the team at the vault will be able to handle the uh, description and re-image the card right on site. So you guys handle all of it. I yes, just give you the cards, they're sold and then the money somehow makes its way back to me. Yes, uh, we are integrated with Stripe, so you would just connect to the Stripe account and uh, all of that, um, the funds will be directed right back to your account. We handle all the uh, shipping, all the customer communication with any eBay customers. Okay, sounds very easy and simple. But how much does this cost? I know eBay has their own fees. You guys have fees. Do I end up paying fees kind of in both places? So it is one consolidated fee okay. uh, between us and eBay. For uh, low-end items, we start at 16%, but it is a sliding scale, which goes all the way down to 7% as the uh, final uh, price goes up. Well, that's perfect, because I got some nice cards here. So we're going to get right. hopefully some nice fees on some of these, some low fees because of big sale prices here. Okay, so let me give some of these to you. Sure. So first of all, I'm gonna give you my uh, Jackson Holiday Radiating Rookies card. Uh, this one graded a PSA 10. The reason why I'm gonna give you this card is this is from 2024 Topps Chrome. This set just recently came out. This is probably one of the first PSA 10s of this card ever to pop. And oftentimes, if you're one of the first to get a card graded, selling it right away is an opportunity to maximize market value. So I'm gonna turn that into you and let you vault that, and then we're gonna put that right onto eBay as soon as that, as soon as that gets processed. There's no bit player hotter in baseball right now than Gunnar Henderson. Um, he's been super hyped this year. His cards are really hot at the National. This is a huge card of his. This is a really big card. Rookie, number to 10, just got this back in a PSA 10. I'm gonna sell when the market is hot on him. So I'm gonna give that to you to vault, and we're gonna move that over to eBay to sell right away as well. Chase DeLotter, first Bowman, hot prospect right now. Uh, and that's the true blue, people love that card. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to you as well. Um, a Jordan Love, once again, with football season around the corner. Timing seems good on that. And then finally, Brandon Miller, probably the second best rookie in the NBA this last season. So I'll put that in the vault. This one I might let sit in the vault for a little while and then sell it later when the NBA season starts. Are there any fees for like storing a card in the vault, letting it sit there for a while before I choose to sell it? 
No, there are no fees uh, for storing your cards at the vault. Uh, uh, the only fees would be one to uh, the consignment fees for eBay, as well as if you do want your card back, you can just uh, pay a, a shipping fee. Okay, to which, get it back. Yes. But if I the I can let it sit there. It's insured. It's secured. And I don't have to pay any fees along the way. No, uh, that is all uh, free. Okay. All part of the uh, service charge. There we go. That sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, very good. So these are in your hands now, okay. and then I'll look for these to show up in my PSA Vault account through the app sometime soon. Great. Awesome. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. Awesome. All right, guys, that is it. Make sure to check out the PSA Vault. And by the way, when you're submitting your own grading orders from home and mailing them in, you have the opportunity to select which cards you want to be vaulted and sold right away during that process when you are submitting your grading order or after you get your grades back. That's it from The National. We'll see you with our next video. Take care.